my name is Lauren Broussard, the American Patriots. You're watching Rugby World on the Beach. Matt Godag, Rugby. Play into the stadium for their quarterfinal against Italy. Now let's go to Phil for a preview of this game. Thanks, Tony. This is history. The first time the USA has met Italy in Rugby League. Italy are newcomers to Rugby League and the Coca-Cola World Rugby League Sevens that showed that they will take any opportunity offered with this touchdown in their 30-4 loss to South Africa. The Italians will score. It's been your team. His first touch of the ball. And he has been in their first game of the 1995 Coca-Cola World Rugby League Sevens, the American Patriots showed just how far they have progressed since last year. Here go the Americans. The Patriots shocked the Sydney Tigers going into the halftime break tied at six. And while the Tigers took control in the second half, it was the Patriots who impressed the crowd. Outside his band, went stuck for the support. I believe Spidey out here. Oh, that's a great try to the Americans. From halftime, I thought we really had them, but it was disappointing the second half. But we learned a lot. It was a good educational experience for us. That learning experience has complemented a week of intense practice under coach David New, a former Winfield Cup player with the St George Dragons. All the hard work paid off in the Patriots' grudge match with arch-rivals Russia, where everything the Patriots had practiced worked. Plays like this one are often practiced, but seldom come off so well in game situations. The result is demoralizing for the defense and uplifting for the offense. David New has really progressed us tremendously. He took us to a, another level that we, we couldn't have got to without him. And he, he's been a tremendous, tremendous person to step in. And he stepped up and he's just taken control of the program. And, and he's done a great job of teaching us things that no one in America would know because he's been here and he's played professionally. He understands the game and, and he's the one that's really teaching us how to play it. Judging by their domination of Russia, the 1995 American Patriots are A-plus students. As we find uh, Duke Jericho striding out, and he'll get the second try for the U.S. of A. the Patriots' offense virtually unstoppable, their commitment on defense frustrated the Russians and limited them to a single touchdown late in the game. In the end, it was the American Patriots' best game in their four-year history at the Sevens. After such a dominant performance, the Patriots could be excused for looking past this historic quarterfinal with Italy and focusing on an appearance in the final. I couldn't imagine. I've never been something this big. Um, just to be in the finals in a World Cup tournament is something unimaginable. But any suggestion of looking past Italy is met with a down-to-earth response. So it's another game. One step at a time. The one concern for the Patriots is Duke Iorico, their star player, who has a severe hamstring injury. It's really bothering me, you know, to the point where it's sore, man. It's real painful. Duke tore the hamstring in practice and has already played two games, ignoring the pain. I shouldn't have been playing, man. Um, uh, the trainer said, you know, it's, every time I play, I'm aggravating it more and more. Duke will likely be rested as soon as the Patriots feel they have a winning lead, but the Patriots may be without him for the semi-finals and final. You know, we hope Duke can keep playing, but if he doesn't, you know, we'll carry on without him. With or without Duke Iorico, the Patriots are on course for the finals. It's a dream come true just to be here right now, but to make the finals would just be, I, without words, I don't even know what to say. It would be probably the greatest experience of my sports career and in my life to date. So, will the American Patriots go on to a semi-final of the plate competition with a great chance of making the final, or will Italy ruin their dream? Let's go to our commentator, Ian Marie. And the Italians make their way onto the Sydney Football Stadium. There's a side for you. Via Domenico, Pignotti, Benetti, Piri, and Bucci, Tedeschi, Daro, Cicini, Novelli, and Benetti in number 10. An unknown quantity, the Italians, playing in their first World Sevens. We don't know a lot about them, but we do know a little bit about the American Patriots as they make their way onto the football stadium. The side today, Broussard, 
Erickson, Duke Irico, Preston Dwyer, Wayne Reed, David Dewey, Malachandran, Evergen, and Freddie Brewer making up the uh, side for the Americans. We'll be looking to Duke Irico. He's a very talented player, is the Duke. There he goes. Into a little huddle. Bobby Braille, the coach. Final instructions. And you heard the shout for USA as Bobby takes his place on the sideline. Not playing this year. Content to watch his side from the side. Stuart Cummings, the referee. Bobby Briel, maybe a little nervous in this game against the unknown quality in the Italians. Now David Dewey will kick off. At the Sydney Football Stadium. And there's the whistle, there's the kickoff. The Italians get first use of the football. Let's see what they can do with it. Bucci runs straight into some pretty solid defense. On the 30 meter mark, the Italians. Oh, and immediately, the Italians get a penalty. The Americans not allowing them to play the ball. And it will be Benetti who will look for touch. And he brings up the touch judges flag just 10 meters inside the American half. Bucci having trouble picking up the football. He's right now. Let's see what the Italians can do with it. Bucci across for Daro. He can't handle it. It's back for Benetti. Benetti may have knocked on. In fact, he has. So that's squandered possession on the first tackle for the Italians. The scrum will go down. just inside the Italian half. Not to the satisfaction of the referee. In we go again. Now, the Americans come up with it. Let's see what they can do. Scrappy play early on. Now, Maguire forcing his way ahead, but uh, the Americans get the penalty. Offside is the uh, Italian side. Huey takes the quick tap restart. That's some clever passing. Dwyer will play it. Newey into dummy half. Here's the Duke. Duke Irico gets to within five or six of the Italian line. Erickson playing the ball five meters short. Dwyer from dummy half reaches up. There's the first try. The Americans are in. Mike Dwyer, the try scorer for the American Patriots. Four to nothing. The Americans watch it again. It was Newey at dummy half, a cutout pass. Erickson charging into the ruck, playing the football just five meters or so out from the line. And Dwyer at dummy half brushes aside a feeble attempt at tackling. Lunges out, puts the ball down. The first try, the conversion attempt is pretty ordinary right across the face of the goal now so the american patriots four to nothing in the first half medium coca-cola world sevens and the italians throwing the football about we haven't seen much of them so far in this game the americans swarming in defense and it's the american patriots four to nothing against italy the italians very much an unknown quantity we have yet to see them in this tournament this is the first time they've been out here to Australia. And some pretty scrappy stuff you're seeing right now. Gia Domenico will play it. It's inside their own half. And a very narrow blind for Novelli. Now it's back for Dauro. Now Benetti. Dwyer in there to make the tackle. Here's Dauro. Cut out pass for Pignotti. Solid defense from uh, Duke Arico. Too solid for the referee. He's awarded the penalty. The Duke went on with the tackle after being called held. So the penalty to the Italians. Pretty 
Pagula looking on, looking a little warm too. Now right on the 20 meter mark. Good opportunity for the Italians to launch something here. There's a little run around move, Bucci and Daro. But uh, that's amounted to nothing as the Americans come up with possession. Dummy half, good barging run. Here's Jeff Preston getting up towards the halfway mark. David New in there at dummy half control. He played pretty well. And backing up nicely, he runs onto the pass. Pulled down on the 40 meter mark. David Newey for the American Patriots. And some pretty ordinary defense, I've got to say, as the Americans are able to run at will. Here's the Duke showing the ball one way. The Duke puts the foot down, and Duke Guy Rico will go in to score. I think he finally, the Duke goes in to score the second Patriots try of this game. And America leads eight to nothing, but put that down to some great individual skills from Duke. Irico, you watch him when he comes up with the football. David Newey with the ball now, offloading to the Duke, a step off the left foot, shows it, dummies, and the gap opened up beautifully for him. And Duke Irico crosses and takes an eternity to put the football down as Gia Domenico comes in to harass him, but finally puts it down. And the conversion attempt for right in front is successful. The Patriots go further in front, 10 to nothing. And Bobby Briel's pretty happy about that. Yeah, baby. USA. Sergeant Slaughter on the sideline of the Americans starting to exert their superiority over the Italians in this quarter final. The Americans were quite impressive in their match against the, the Tigers in the earlier rounds. In fact, they held the Tigers to six all at half time but fell away in the second half. They then came out and thrashed Russia. And a win here could see a rematch with the Russians. But now it's the Italians. Throwing the ball about but not making any progress at all. Gian Domenico running around in circles. Get the pass back to Benetti. The ball is loose. It Italy still has it. Now it's with Benetti. But he's monstered to the ground by Mike Dwyer. Play about 35 out from the Italian line. Dummy half was Benetti. Now it's with Novelli. Franco Novelli. Most of these Italian players have had rugby union experience, of course, with very little, if any, rugby league experience. Half-time siren sounds. The, oh, a silly pass. No need for that. But no harm done as the siren sounds. Referee blows half-time. And the Americans will now get the half-time address from their coach, Bobby Briel. They lead Italy 10 to nothing at half-time as we go back to Phil and Tony. The Patriots have got a great lead at half time, and what a try by Duke Arrico Phil. That's right, Tony. Duke's got a great try, and I think the Patriots should rest him now. He's got a pulled hamstring. He can't walk very well. He can obviously still run, but they'll need him for the semi-final. I don't think they'll have any trouble getting there. We'll be back for the second half after this. Hi, we're the Coach Soldier. Keep watching Rugby World. <laughs>